what's going on guys it's mr quickie and i'm here today for the said promised twixter tutorial this is the best twixter tutorial ever um you know you're gonna leave from here you're gonna know how to do twixter just as good as an after effects you know um i may even say almost better but first um thanks for uh all these views and likes like wowzers like I don't usually get like look at that 24 you know well I guess that's a hundred but that's in one that's in like tw less than a 24 hour period so that's that was pretty awesome and thanks to Rocket Ross for um, accepting my video response all right um, so that's basically that and here is um, uh, the clip I just twixtered um, for the promo I'll talk a little bit more about that later but Right now, you can watch it for a sec. So here it is. So I pre-rendered that for you guys there, and you you saw that that was that was some sexy smooth twixter with little to no ghosting or whatever. There's a tiny bit there, but that's for like a frame. There's another bit there, but that, that's two frames. That's bad you can't you can't see that all right so so he, let's get right into it so the first thing you want to do open a new project oh yes I do want to save uh, <laughs> now the new project you're going to want to make that um, HD 720 60 frames per second or 59.94 to be exact um, and now you press OK and now you got this blank space uh, import a clip so I'm going to use one I just captured in theater mode, but I did not use that dumb theater mode 0.1%, you know, speed, whatever. You know, this is full speed. Like, take a look at this for a sec. That is what we're going to be twixtering today, not some 0.1%. So first thing is get rid of this audio. Remove that. Drag it over here because you can use that later if you really want to. And I'm going to Twixter the second shot because the first one's shit. Okay. Um, I want it to start right there is where I want it to start. So put a marker where you want the Twixter to start. Uh, get rid of this shit. Oh, and I always forget. Sorry, I forgot again. Um, make sure you disable resample and untick maintain aspect ratio. That is vital. Okay, now you're going to want to go and go into Twixter Pro or Twixter, whichever you have the best settings for already. If you don't have good settings yet, uh, use Twix, use my settings here, which are tweaked settings from Jcraft. Thank you, Jcraft, for your settings. Whoops, I got to make that 100 to start off. Okay, so here are the settings, Twixter output, all uh, speed. Uh, start off with the speed at 100%. Um, Make your track quality best. BG Motion Sense um, between 96 and 99 is what I find to be the best. Uh, image prep, none. Tick that. Um, motion weighted blend, forward, smart blend, uh, blah, blah, blah. That's all normal. And cut A or cut B. Um, depending on the Twixter, it's different for each um, one you do. Okay, now exit out of that. You're going to see that it's all playing at 100% still, but it's going to be playing at a laggy 100% because you just added an effect. Okay, so go where you want the Twixter to start, which is right at my keyframe or uh, marker there. Go into Event FX again. Go to Speed and press Animate. Now, this is how you get it to look good. All right. You keyframe your Twixter, and it's so simple, And but it's also exactly how it's done in After Effects. So add a keyframe, make this one. Um, we're going to do 4%. No, not 45, 4%. Now go back 3 to 5 frames, and make sure this is ticked off, or else it will not, not sync with this. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now you're going to see that it's all changing there. We want it to be 100 there because we, oh, and add another keyframe so it's a hundred there from here to there so it's playing at a hundred percent 
and now it's going to slowly, well not slowly, it's going to gradually go into Twixter, as you can see right there. It's animated, it's not just, there's Twixter, you know, it's going to animate itself into Twixter. Okay, and now you're going to want to exit out of this for a second, drag this out, um, make sure you got lots of room. For all, uh, yeah, that should be fine. Now you're going to want to go to where you're, you want your Twixter to end, or for instance, where you want um, a beat to sync, and you're going to want to put a marker there too. So you can see your Twixter going, look how smooth that is. I mean, that is just so bloody smooth. All right, I want it to end right there. So put a marker there, and um, then uh, just check to see what's going on here. Okay, that should be fine. Go back to your marker, go back to video effects, um, go to speed, make it 100. All right, add in a keyframe, and then go back three to five, one, two, three, four, five, and make this four, or the same as this one was. All right, so, and that's basically, that's basically it, guys. I mean, you've just made your most epic twi Twixter of life. I mean, I can't really preview that well, but if you do want to preview it, I mean, look at that. Look at that. There's like no ghosting at all, hardly. It's a tiny little bit there. And then there's a little bit more there. And if, if there is, um, play with the settings a little bit is what I would recommend if you're really that specific about it. But after you add a CC and stuff, you can't hardly notice. Um, do stuff like cut A instead of cut B, that might help. Okay, so it helped a little bit. Looks like, yep. Now, it always lags. Sometimes it jumps and skips and stuff like that. Don't worry about that, okay? That is to be expected with Twixter. And uh, yeah, don't worry about it because when you render it, it'll be fine. But if it's bugging you, save the project, exit, open it back up, it should work fine. Now, if you want it to sync at different spots, if you want it to stop at a different spot, put a marker there, like if you want to say, you want it to sync with a gunshot right there, put a marker there instead, and then look at that. You go in and you move these keyframes. You lock it with that, and there you go. Oh, whoops, I moved that, that was not intended. You lock that there, move that a little bit closer. There you go. And now look, your Twixter ends there. And now you're at 100% again. So um, it's easy to use. It is uh, like far easier to use than splitting it and stuff like that. Look at that. That is just so balls to the walls. That is amazing. All right. Now pre-render it if you really want to see how it looks. Oh, that's stupid there. Um, pre-render it, uh, what you do is you press Shift B and it will pre-render. Now guys, um, that is basically it for the tutorial and thanks so much for watching. Uh, if there could be a few things you guys could do for me. First of all, please like this video. I mean, this was this took a long time to get these settings. I really like looked over YouTube. I spent a lot of time in Sony Vegas um, figuring all this out for myself. And, um, <clears throat> uh, here it is. Um, so, yeah, please give it a like. Favorite it if you need to come back and, um, look at these settings again. Um, and look at how I did it. Um, just in case, you know, you're a little bit new to this. And, um, yeah, also, um, I was mentioning the promo. If you are going to use these settings, I would love it if you guys could please upload the promo. There's going to be a link in the description where you can download it. Download it. Um, please upload it to your channel so that other um, people can have um, these amazing Twixer settings for Sony Vegas and just rub it in After Effects users' faces. I mean, After Effects is a great program, but when you can do it like just as easy in Sony Vegas and all these After Effects people are saying, oh, you can't do Twixer. Yeah, suck it. This is what it looks like. Anyways, this has been Mr. Quickie, and it's been a blast, guys, but I gotta go, so bye-bye.